Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We're going to get started in the gatehouse today. I know we talked about going on a flax run, but we don't really need to go on a flax run anymore, and I'll explain why. We've got the treasure map. We'll go out for the treasure map, but I thought we'd better do some building because we haven't uh, gotten too far so far in the build. We've got a couple of bridges in. We've got our entranceway kind of in, and so I thought we'd get started on our small gatehouse and it's gonna be small by the way it's gonna be a small gatehouse hey thank you so much for all your support on the channel welcome to the new subscribers it is great to have you on board you have found a quality community of people here you have indeed all right so let's get started on what we're doing here the portcullis is in i've got stone pillars going up and across and down these actually line up just about perfect with this guy right here too if you look at that so anybody standing up there can actually look over the top of the stone right there so i like the way the stone looks the way it covers all that up, I really do like how that looks. I'm going to turn that torch off. Uh, in here, we do not have a lot of room for uh, a gatehouse. It's going to be a very small gatehouse. Oh, by the way, I moved everything from here, and I built a little stone structure across this way so that we can get across over to this area here. And uh, I've got everything kind of set up here. This is going to be the warehouse spire. We're going to put the warehouse over here. I thought that would be a good spot for it. So we'll build that one eventually. I think what we're going to do first is get the gatehouse put in. Then we're going to work on the crow's nest and probably get a bridge set up over to the next spire. That one right over there. Probably get something over there. Some of you want to see like a wizard's tower and, and kind of a workshop apothecary wizard thing. I think that's going to go on that spire right there, over there, up front. I think that would be pretty cool. So we're going to do that. I like that idea. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of working on... Uh, let's turn that torch off. Just some simplistic, very simplistic uh, a place. This is what this is going to be. Uh, it's not going to be a huge gatehouse. Remember, we're not working too much on defenses this time around. We're working more on uh, looks and just having fun with the blocks and seeing what can we pull off with the blocks that uh, Keen Software House has given us. So there. Oh, we could probably give that one more hit. Nope, we got metal components. We need the metal components for that. Uh, and then back here, we're going to go with um, windows with shutters. And yes, I'm blocking this off. And no, we're not going to be able to bring carts back here. But we've got a plan to deal with bringing supplies up to the spires. The idea with us, we've talked about it ever since the beginning, is that wherever the warehouse is, we want to have something set up to where we can winch things up on cranes. If you go to Toshba's channel, he's really easy to find. He's always in the comments. If you go to his channel, he's made a crane in survival mode, which I appreciate very much. And we are going to dangle it off the edge of this spire over here. There's a kind of a nice flat space right here. We're going to dangle those cranes out over the edge, and we're going to be able to hoist materials up to our warehouse area okay so that's the goal that's our goal this spire i'm trying to keep things kind of contained on the spire itself so we've got to be kind of unique i felt like if we had the door here if we had a big opening area right here when we come out it just seems kind of like an awkward area to to come out at uh, maybe we could take this down i can kind of show that to you guys we'll just keep the torch in our hand until it burns out it just, to me, seems awkward. And we can't just kind of run the bridge off of this over there because it won't match. It won't go. It's just a different angle. So that's kind of where we're at with this. So that's why I thought I'd close this off. And it's not so much about bringing cart and carts and stuff up as it is about bringing the materials up from down below by way of crane. Uh, maybe the materials, you could, you could run a cart all the way up to the tunnel here and across the drawbridge and park it here and you could unload it here we still have to put rails and stuff along the edge here but the carts would stop right here you're just not going to be able to bring them in or you could roll a cart all the way into here and we could do it that way and we could take the stuff out and we can move it into the storage area this way we're kind of uh which i love by the way we're kind of uh, having to deal with uh, mother nature and the way the world was built we can't just make up our own stuff. So I like that a lot. We're going to need some more metal parts, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. More parts. Is it just me or is the torch lasting longer? Do I still have a torch in my hand? I do. Oh, sweet. I love that. I think I've got some ores back in here. So yeah, I moved everything back. Hope you guys like that idea. I thought it was a good idea to move things around. And if you look inside here... Oh yeah, look what radio's using for fuel. As per you wonderful subscribers, you said use 
charcoal the stuff lasts forever and man you couldn't be more right about that look at this look at this burning it down it's so slow burning it is absolutely fantastic so charcoal is the way to go when it comes to that so thank you so much for that tip that was a great tip um, metal parts we'll craft up a couple of those we're gonna have to go get some tin or some copper or something so I can actually make more metal parts or we're gonna have to have some a barbarian siege so we can deal with that so our exit here is actually gonna be right here this is going to be the exit, and we'll come in this way, and we'll get in this way to get into our little gatehouse. Uh, oh, planks. Planks. I didn't see that. I thought it was telling me to get metal parts. We have planks made up. No worries. Uh, there we go. We'll grab a few couple of those there. All right. Went down and got a load of stones, so we've got two full stockpiles of stones sitting over there, so we're good to go with that. We should be able to knock this out, I think. There we go. There's a door. There's a window. And a window. And a window. And we've got a few arrow slits here too. If anything else, they can look down and look in safety down that way. We might have to swap this out. You know what? We are going to have to swap this out right here. We have to get rid of that one there. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's go G. I think we, we need a place for a staircase so we can go up on a second floor. Got to have a second floor, right? I mean, tell me I'm wrong about that. We want this guy right here. There we go, right there. We can't have a window. We cannot have a window there because it's not gonna let us do that. Oh, I love the fact that I can have a torch in my hand while I'm talking to you guys and working at the same time. Let's grab this guy next. And we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna put this guy in right here. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So now we got a staircase and we go up. Ba-da da da just like that. And we want at least a second floor on here. And this is just going to be a big, kind of a, a circular type building with uh, battlements around it. So we can, uh, you know, if we had to battle, we could. I just want to kind of keep with the theme that we have had over the seasons a little bit. Um, <laughs> I think uh, more arrow slits would probably be the best bet, the best route to go with that. Uh, yeah, probably so. Let's do this right here, and let's go ahead and put this guy right over there. And we're going to go with arrow slits up on this side, too. There we go. A fall from here would definitely be certain death, because we are right on the edge of this mountain right now. And we need number seven here. And we're going to go with uh, arrow slits again right here. And I guess we could do the same thing here, although I think a window might be more fun here. I think a window would be very fun right here. Let's, we're gonna have to go over here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like so, there we go, there we go, mm-hmm. Thank you for understanding that I did not have any episodes of this over the weekend. Keep in mind it is the holiday season. Also keep in mind that I do work a full-time job. Also keep in mind that, um, uh, I just do the best I can. I've only got so much time in a day to record, so I do the best I can. Um, we can there's no trap door for the corner there. We're going to have to put some flooring in as well. Let's grab our flooring also. And let's kind of figure out this here too. We're going to go like this, and we're going to have to go Z. Uh, yes, and... Z again. Z. I guess if I go up here, there we go. Like something like that right there. They don't line up very well, do they? Uh, maybe if I turn this one around. I guess I gotta turn this one around, huh? And then it'll line up pretty nice. Let's go like that. You can kind of see it line up over on the other side. It looks like this is the better bet. Oops. Number nine in the way there we go a little floor like that so we can see out okay lovely perfect and now we're gonna need uh, let's go back to G we're gonna need this guy right here I like to go back and forth in my block inventory those of you who might be new to the channel because I like to refresh my memory all the time as to what blocks we do and don't have so that's why you see me go back and forth so often how about like that and that will that work 
What's this gonna look like here? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that works. That works. But now we need to get it, uh, something across here, too. Do we, or do we have a separate area here? No, we're going to have to do a separate... I think we're going to have to do another side like this over here. Uh, gee, we need our... Hole with the window in it. Just our regular rounded wall. I think we're done with the big boy block over here. Got on today, maybe maybe 30 minutes, and just kind of figured out a shape for this, a general shape, so we get started on it today. Uh, excuse the darkness if it does get dark. Uh, gee, it stares again. I'm also not going to change the configuration of the, the sun and the seasons, just because I, I, I know I'm going to have you know really dark days for a, a few days, but then I'm also going to have very bright days for a few days. And one thing that bothered me most about last season was the fact that I was always in the dark. Uh, in more ways than one. <laughs> Indeed. There we go. And... Oh, you got to knock these into place. That's why sometimes you find yourself getting stuck here. Because it wants that to be knocked in place. That piece of flooring. And... Like so. Okay, like that. And then we have a number six up here with the battle. With the... Uh, nope, we want you right there. No, I want you out there. I want you out there. Oh. Troublesome. Why, why won't you go out here? Maybe if this is gone, it'll be easier for me to do that. There we go. Seems to not like having the floor there. Oh, we need some stone. So yeah, we're going to come out this way. Oh boy. Oh, we need stone. I can't tack those together without some stone. We got a bunch of it, though. This torch is still burning. Have you noticed this torch is still burning? Sun's coming up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, four. There we go, like so. There we are. I'm going to leave that grass showing through there. Uh, I'm not going to leave this piece of dirt here, though. Oop, there we go. And then we'll put something up here, too. So, yeah, we exit here, come around, and then we come off of this, and boom, out we go. Uh, we'll probably put a door here. We'll probably enclose this a little bit more to keep from falling off. Okay, so there's our little gatehouse coming along nicely. Like so, and like so. There we go. Awesome. You know, like that. Uh, and then we can go back to number nine and get our rounded piece in here. There we go. Like that. All right. Beautiful. Hope you guys are enjoying your uh, time on uh, Midi Bill Engineers. I know I am. Number nine. You know what we could do? We've got to make this so we can get back and forth across here, right? Um... Why won't that go up there, though? You need, oh, planks. Planks. Planks, planks, and more planks. We've got a bunch of them. Don't worry. I've got something I want to show you, too. I'd worked a little bit more on the front entryway as well. And uh, we took care of something else. We are going to go off on adventure in this week's episodes. We will. If we can get this mostly done today, then we can probably head off on the next episode and go for a little bit of adventure. Go find uh, one of the treasures. Let's do that. And that right there. And let's go number nine. Let's take out our stone post here. Uh, hit, hit Z. Like so. Those are going to be right in the door as we come in. How do we feel about that? Hmm. Maybe something out of timbers would look better here holding that up, huh? That seems a bit bulky to me. A little bit too bulky. Yeah. So we'll come back to that with some timber. And what we'll do is we'll line it with timber. 
and then we'll put a few timber supports and maybe just not right in the center here and kind of uh, make that look right okay we'll work on it that way we'll do that that way all right so now let's see what do we got there we got a, just a plain window here because we're looking out the back and we could probably do um, I wonder can I get away with I, I can't remember is it possible to do flooring here and here and still walk down these stairs? No, they st that's still not a thing. I know I can crouch. I don't want to crouch. I want that to just change. <laughs> I want that to change. I wish that wasn't like that. Um, so we're going to put a rail along here so you don't fall off. We're going to do that instead. So number seven, uh, we're going to do windows again. Uh, open windows. Be a little drafty in here, but that's okay. Awesome. We have to go up one more on this too, because then we're going to want to put some uh, battlements on the edge of it. And up here, we're going to go with uh, I think it was a number. We're, we're using arrow slits here. Okay, so we're going to we're going to make this symmetrical in here. Z. Maybe that's all I had to do before, was just hit Z. There we go, beautiful. Well, I love how the door comes up right like that, so we'll put rails up here. That'll be kind of cool. Can I reach that door from here? I sure can. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, oh, boy, we got this up here, too. Um, <laughs> hmm. To our little mushroom stew would be nice right now. This is a thing here. I want to. I would want to. I want to be able to walk along up there. Hmm. All right. Give me a minute. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna figure something out. We've gotta. We gotta make some adjustments here. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Problem solved. I think we're up here now on the at the portcullis, the back end of the portcullis. I'm knocking these all the way in, right? Yes. Okay, so we could do a little something here to for protection. I should be able to bring this up from here. It's it's flickering white. I see it. There it goes. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got these little staircases right here. Now, my problem with that is, is that they are sitting up here without a whole lot of support underneath them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this guy right here. I don't like how that little post is um, hanging out over the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get one of these to go up underneath there. Z. Uh, let's try that again, number nine. It was just it's just hard to see with the uh, with that bright white light. Hmm. I'm not pleased by that. And I don't think, yeah, you know, I can't put flooring there because that's just going to make that look awful. Is that so bad? What if we... If we can blend this in with the rest of the structure so bright it's so hard to see that works I'm 
tone that white down. <laughs> we need to tone that glow down for sure. That works right there. And then what we can do is we can come off the top here. Like this. Let's shrink that up a little bit. Stretch it out one more. There we go. Like that. And now we're good there. Uh, is this in the way of the door at all? Not at all. Okay. I don't think it would let us build there if it was going to be in the way of the door. So what we could do here, we could do this again. And let's pull this up to a full timber here. And we could do this right here. Like so. And we can run those across this side as well. Do something like that. And that's going to give us... Yeah. That's going to work there. Alright, beautiful. Okay, so we've got that. Um, I think I want to go up one more floor. And this is what the battlements are going to be attached to up here. Control and scroll. He's your buddy. And this doesn't go here yet because we've got to go out here. Oh boy, we got to go out here. Do we have what we need? I think we do. I think we've got enough stone and sticks to be able to do something like this. I'm going to go like this. From down below, this should look quite lovely. And, well, I guess we could do windows up here. No, we can't because we're going to have battlements on the outside of it. The machiculations are going to be up here, so we don't want those up here. We, this is our this is our structural wall to hold those things up. Like so. There we go. And the number six right here. Number six right there. There we go. Like so. Can I do number seven up here? I can. The arrow slit, only half of it shows up here when you do this because most of this block is on the outside. It's actually going to fuse together with that stone column that we have outside there. Um, we'll come back to this one. We'll come back to that. So we still need the number seven. Ooh, ooh that's a long ways down. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm dying to get to the town part. <laughs> I really am. Actually, I'm, I'm enjoying all of it. This, this has been quite a challenge to kind of come up here on this spire and figure out how we're going to make this work. All right. And we need number six. I managed to catch some of the stream that uh, Keen Software House did for the update. Just a little bit of it, not a whole lot of it. But I saw the uh, saw some pictures of that rocky desert. Oh man, that place looks beautiful. I'm gonna try to do something up there someday. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we're good to go there. Let's go to G. Let's find our maculations and small round ledge. Nah. Now nah, we're gonna go with these guys right here, and then we need this guy right here. And that should be what we need. I'm hoping I can get this guy to go out here while I'm standing here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see if it stays up here. All right, that worked. All right, beautiful. All right, so we need to go back to G. And let's grab our flooring. And now we're going to come around, and we can't do any flooring right over there, unfortunately. But we can do this right here. Oh, I should have just stayed right where I was. Yeah, we can do all this right here. Um, and we can actually do number nine. We can go with the rounded floor here. And I believe we could do it right here, too. Like so. We could do enough of that. We could put a, a brazier right there and another one right there. So that'll work. And then we could have a little guard quarters up here. 
and then we gotta get the we gotta get up to the maculations. I still want that piece. And another thing I would love to see too, uh, not to say that we're not getting a lot during this update because it's been a fabulous update. I would like to see this wall be able to f be flipped up so it could become a ceiling or a floor piece. Uh, so that when we use the big arches and stuff, the arches could come up. We could go with a three or a four wide arch and then have those across the top to kind of finish it off. That would be really nice to be able to do something like that. Uh, now i got to figure out what I'm going to do for stairs. Um, I think I might switch to wood stairs here. Uh, just because I feel like we're kind of structurally unsound right now. Uh, and then we're going to need the G. We're going to need our flooring back as well. Like this. And then we should be able to go number seven. And get these guys to attach. They're a little more expensive, but they're nice. They had a really nice decor on the side of the building, I think. I just don't get stuck in them. Uh, number six again. Need to hit that outer corner there. There we go. And back to number nine. Planks. We need more planks. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's really a bummer about those arches. Now, the, 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 the stone staircase, this guy right here, you can put the trap door over him and you can get in and out without any problem with the trap door. He, he, he loves the trap door. The rest of the staircases, they're not so friendly with the trap door. Uh, planks. Do I have any more made? I do not, but I can make some more very quickly. And let's go control double click and we'll get five of those guys going right there and we should be good to go. Yeah, it took me about a, I don't know, an hour or two to build kind of a thing to come up here like we did on the first balcony. We, we built that uh, ramp staircase all the way up here. I did that and got up here pretty quick. Yeah, the Mackie collations are going to give that some uh, some shape, some shape for sure. And then we need some planks. Control double click on the planks and that should work on that as well. We'll run back up there and we'll get that finished up. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And what we'll do is we got 5, 10, 15 more of those. We're going to go uh, shift, double click on that right there and keep get some more going right away. Woohoo! It's a very simple looking building, for sure. But it's going to be a nice little gatehouse, I think, to get us started here. Okay, beautiful. All right, and we need our number seven. I'm going to control and scroll that out there. Like that, and we need a second one. And then we need a number six. We're almost there. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's bad news. Am I touching that? Z? I think it would rather have me over here pointing at this. Z? There we go. Back to seven. Right there. And back to number six. I'm always glad you don't fall through these. Nice. I don't know if we have enough to finish this. We probably do not have enough to get these done. There we go.
Come on now. What was that noise? Jeez. That scared me. <laughs> I thought I was really causing some problems here. <laughs> Uh-oh. It'll be a little short on the stone front. That's okay. We'll grab some more of those planks when we go back. All right. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll decorate this bridge up once we figure out where we're going next. Uh, no, in here. Planks, and let's do some more. Let's go shift double click on that again. There we go. Just a little tower. A little tower of power here on our Dragon Spires of Darius. Oh, stone. I forgot to grab stone. That's what I went over there for. Jeez. Okay, get to get to know your get to know your spire day today. Okay, I went through that one. We're gonna go through this one next. Bam. You know what? I'm gonna need some timber. I just know I am. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. Let's go ahead and get a couple more of these guys going. And like that. I have to take that out in order for it to actually craft it. This should be enough to get us going. I don't suppose you've noticed that there is a iron hand plow in my inventory. Mm-hmm. Learned a little farming action uh, over the weekend, Sunday. I kind of got lucky. Remember how I mentioned that when you tend to stay in an area for a while, things start to grow? I, I think I've just been here long enough where things are starting to show up and they're starting to show up at a fast rate. Come on now, why are you taking so long? Stop doing that. There we go, that was weird. Okay, that's all taken care of. Oh, we're getting almost to the top here, we can see. <laughs> that's pretty cool, that is pretty cool. All right, now it's not the fanciest of builds. Right, I'll, I'll agree with that. I could do the trim work on my own and put some rails and stuff in like that. But nevertheless, we've got ourselves a little bit of a gatehouse coming in here. Let's take a look and see how this looks. Yeah, it's like one gatehouse tower right there, huh? That's what it is. It's one gatehouse tower. Just a little something to stop people from getting in. You see, I was limited on space. This side had just a little bit more room than this side, but this side structurally, it is into the mountain all the way. So it should be structurally sound. Most definitely structurally sound. Uh, now out here, we're gonna do a little something different here. We're gonna go ahead and go with, um, oh, where are you? There you are right there. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. You know what we could do? You know what we could do here? I think we could do this here. Let's go back to G. Let's grab this guy right here. I think we could get away with doing this guy instead. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And then maybe the same thing down on this end here too. Number seven. Actually, give me a two. A two. Now a seven. And I don't think I can put another seven here. I can put a seven there, but that's not gonna, that doesn't do me any good. That doesn't do me any good there. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna be able to come out the door right here, right there. So that's, that's good. Let's go, uh, let's go back to G. We're gonna get rid of this guy right here. And we need the door. We need the door. And we've got the window, we've got the flat wall, we got this guy, we don't need the stairs. Okay, so now we need a number seven. Um, and then G, we're gonna need the rounded wall too, with the window. I want windows in this. And where are you? There you are. Oh, uh, 
that's going to be ugly. Yeah, we can't have that. Hmm. It's pretty tight. But, like I said, we're having some fun with this and trying out the blocks this, this season. We're going to see what we can do with them. through it the other option is another option we could do is no door yeah no door uh, hold on G we can do we can get we can get fancy with that. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode. Like that, number five. No shutter. Number six. roof on this that arrow slit is not going to work for me right there oh boy that's taking a real chance that could collapse <laughs> that could really fall down and cause us some problems there we go so let's go back to G and we're going to want a very tight roof on here Yeah, this one right here. Hmm. Is that going to work? Can I get another number six up here? I can. Is this the right block? You know what I bet I need? I bet I need... Where are you? Where are you, little fella? I need... This guy. There we go. Now we need clay tiles. That's going to give us a little bit of red roof on this side, which is going to look kind of nice, I think. I don't think I actually have any tile. Uh, it might be out of clay as well. Oh, looky there. Oh, no, no, we don't want the dirt. Where's the dirt? Where'd the dirt go? Oh, there we go, like that. I've got enough sticks, I think. I think we're good on sticks. Inventory. A couple of mushroom stews. I think we're almost there, you guys. Thank you for being patient with me. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. How's that look from across the bridge? Can't make out the red roof. Oh, that's cool, though. It does give a little color over there on that side, and it kind of gives it a different look to that side of it as well. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I do. Oh, man, I think we did it. I think we did it. It needs some trim work and stuff. And you guys, of course, throw in your suggestions, too, what you think. That bottom stair looks rough, huh? 
Some of these stairs look a little rough. We come up this way, up this way, and now we're here. A little wood staircase takes us to the top of the portcullis. We need rail across here, or we could even do um, the battlements across the top here, too. These guys right here would work just fine right here. I believe they'll go across here. Uh, out here. Oh, wow, they're going to be way out there, though, huh? Yeah, those would be out a little farther. So I think maybe a rail would be a better solution for these guys right here. Just a rail that would go across this. Maybe jut out all the way. Nice wood rail. One of our homemade wood rails would look probably pretty good there. How are we looking here? I feel like we're looking pretty good. I feel like we're looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Let's close it up. Whoa, 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 radio. <laughs> Careful. Careful now. You're walking backwards. Our small gatehouse. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, I got something else I got to show you. We're going to take a break from building. That's it for the building today. You guys send me your feedback as always. Uh, tab and B. There we go. Okay, out here, we've been working on this front entrance way for a couple of episodes. And I'm, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to just do what I'm going to do with it and we'll, 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 we'll run with it. Uh, I've, I went with the wood rail that's already here. I know the homemade one looked really nice, but... God, you guys, that's that's very labor intensive, and it would have been a lot to try to get done. So I, I stopped it here with the braziers. What I did, and I'll show you on the outside of it. Oh, also, what I did was I put open doorways right here to add to this. These two cones that sit on top of the tower here of the entranceway. I took the doors that were back here that were just kind of odd, oddly placed and just an odd angle. I took those out, put windows in there so we could see out the windows now. And then I put doors in here instead. They, 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 this room really doesn't serve much of a purpose at all. We could just put a chest or something in here just for fun. Okay. Uh, let's go outside here to the left and take a look. I did add a piece of stone trim like this all the way along here. And I'm going to take that spire and bring it down one more and put torches on each side of it. Just so it's got this kind of uh, mystical candlelight glow to it. Okay. So we're going to do that right there on the end. But I did put these all the way around it. I don't see any barbarians. I've not had a single barbarian today. I'm a bit disappointed by it, to be quite honest with you. And I did that over here on this side, too. You can see there's an extra piece of stone trim on there. And what that does is it's going to give us a... It gives us a little more depth between the edge of this curve and, and the rail. If you look, we've got a little bit of a curve now there. A little bit of an edge, which gives us some depth. So I like how that looks, and I'm going to go with it. And uh, I hope you guys like that too. So that's what I did there with that. And put the brazier there. Good news, I learned some farming. We talked about the fact we're going to dig a trough through here as the road to go through here. But look what we have up here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yes, yes. I found a couple of flax. Learned gardening. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch now. Give me one more. No, two's good. Two is good. And then I just take number two. All I gotta do is hold the ground again. And this is where we're gonna dig our road. And I've got an idea out here too, guys. I gotta run it by you too real quick. Let me run it, let me get this hoed up and I wanna get this stuff going. That took about three game days through the game days to get this flax to grow. Not too shabby. There we go. And number five. And we just uh, give it a little plop. So next episode, we can work on our colors. I think I'm going to have to learn something. I think I'm going to have to learn a few things in order for us to do that, possibly. I'll, ch I'll check on it this after the episode. We'll work on it next episode. You guys seem to like the color blue. Uh, blue has come up several times. You cannot plant here. Yes, I can. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Plant it. So we've got flax. You know what we don't have? You know what we don't have? Pumpkins. 
We don't have any pumpkins. I've not found any pumpkins in this area. But cabbages and, of course, the, uh, the herbs. We've got all that stuff going, so we're good there. And all that good stuff. So everything we have, except for the pumpkins. I need to find uh, pumpkins. My idea here is to... I, I like the idea about digging this out, and we'll, we'll dig a trough through here, uh, right through the ground. And this is kind of the path it's going to take right through here, and we'll go down. We'll dig down. We'll put retaining walls all along here, uh, down into this area here. We're going to go into the mine, right? I think this building right here, this structure is going to turn into something different that's going to be sitting here. And then I want a little bridge that goes over this gap that we're going to be walking through. I want a bridge that comes from here over to here. And I'm going to plow this land and fence it. And this is going to be our farm. Did I hear a barbarian? I heard a barbarian. And we're going to plant our crops on this hillside here. Up until probably about the snow here. And then we'll use those, um, those simple fences. The barbarians love to beat on them, but no big deal. Uh, where is he? It's kind of a farm fence. It's just a, a rail slat fence. It's really nice. I like it. Maybe it's under the small blocks. I've probably gone past it twice. Or I have not learned it yet, and we just need to learn it too. This is the guy we need for our research weaving. Okay, so we're going to have to research the weaving, and we'll get that learned, and we'll uh, be able to make our colors for our stuff. But we are going to set off an adventure, but I want to put one of these guys back down, one of our wooden claim blocks inside the gatehouse. And then I want to take the materials with us to build another one to wherever we go and wind up someplace that's got some really nice resources. We'll put one down there and build kind of a small structure for it. That way we can uh, transport ourselves back and forth without having to use the, uh, you know, where you're on the roads. I know you can take it so that you don't have to use the roads, but I kind of like the idea of using the roads. I'm not a big teleporter kind of guy, but if we can do the claim block thing, that would be fun to be able to teleport ourselves from here to a different uh, piece of land that we own. Um, where is, there it is right here, this guy, uh, the stick fence, <laughs> how simple is that, the stick fence, we'll use stick fencing around it, we'll make this look like a little farming area, and maybe one of our windmill things, they, they've added the game now with the mechanical blocks, we'll put that down, maybe right there, we'll take that down, and we'll reconfigure this to be a house and a mill, and then we'll put, uh, the crops and stuff on this hillside right here, I thought that would be kind of cool, and look really nice, and then as we come out, of uh, the Dragon Spires of Darius, we walk through this passageway that's through here, and it's got a little bridge that goes between the, the farm and the crops. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? What do you think of that? There! <laughs> so, yeah, so anyways, we've got flax, though. Look at that, we got flax going, so that's good. We got 16 flax. Yeah. Yeah, so I got that going over the weekend. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, guys, I think that's going to have to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.